Hello and welcome back to my channel. For those of you tuning in for the first time, my name is Rachel Bigsby. I am a wildlife photographer and I am so thrilled that you have chosen to delve into my wild life. Now, as 2023 draws to a close, I thought that I would share one of my highlights of the year with you and give you an insight into the Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition experience. On October the 10th, 2023, I was crowned as the winner of Natural Artistry in the prestigious Wildlife Photographer of the Year Awards at the Natural History Museum in London with my image of two northern gannets titled The Art of Courtship. From start to finish, there are so many aspects of the competition to delve into, from the image itself to accepting the award and all of the opportunities that follow afterwards. But first, let's start with the image itself. The Art of Courtship is an image of two northern gannets engaged in an intimate courtship ritual on the towering guano-covered cliffs of the island of Nos, situated in the North Sea off Shetland. Now it was my first time ever visiting this location and I was staggered by its beauty. And as our boat chugged towards the island, I was quick to see potential. However, I did realise that my vision would be tricky in a small boat in turbulent sea swell at the foot of towering cliffs. The potential I saw was in the sculpted sandstone, rising 180 metres above the North Sea. This sandstone hosted more than 22,000 northern gannets breathing on its ledges carved by the elements. Each curve was softly draped in streaks of white guano which exaggerated the meandering shape and within each hourglass sat one or two gannets. I wanted a courting pair, but amongst the 22,000, I couldn't find one. Then I spotted the perfect pair, isolated on a lower ledge, intertwining their necks and framed meticulously by the streaks of guano. In a few seconds, the boat aligned with the rocks and everything came together. The courting gannets drew up against a dark hollow on the guano painted curves of sandstone and I got my shot. The creative decisions that I made in Lightroom were key in the creation of this image. To remove the distraction of colour, in order to enhance the complementary shapes of the birds, guano and sandstone. The first thing that I did in Lightroom was to convert this image from black and white to colour. I then increased the dehaze slider to add some contrast and I took down the exposure. I then took down the black slider to further enhance the darker hollows that the gannets were courting in front of. And I opened my tone curve, again adjusting the shadows, darks and lights until they reached a place that I felt complemented all of the tones within the image. Next, I opened up my black and white mix, slightly tweaking the yellows and also the blues. I gently increased the sharpness of this image and to add one final touch, I increased the texture slider to enhance the texture in the sandstone. Now, when the jury have made their decision, you are contacted by the competition and told the incredibly good news. At this point, you are asked to remain absolutely quiet until the award ceremony later on in the year. The celebrations are held in the Natural History Museum in London and run for three days. The space is transformed and the evening ceremony takes place right under the skeleton of Hope the Blue Whale, 
and when your reward is revealed, you are invited to make an acceptance speech on stage beneath the world famous statue of Sir Charles Darwin. Judges chose this photograph as 2023's winner of natural artistry. It's the Gannets on the Isle of Nos. It's got a lot going for it, hasn't it, really? The texture of the rock, the sculpting of the rock, all those waves, all those years of washing down, those stripes of guano that I've mentioned. Works better, I imagine, in black and white. Who goodness knows what colour the rock was. We don't want the coffee-stained head of the, the gannets there. But then, ultimately, it comes down to the positioning of gallets. They are in that window of uniform grey tone, and they, their composition, one to another, complements them, themselves perfectly. It's a beautifully composed picture taken by Rachel, and it's a deserved winner this year, Natural Artistry. Rachel, please come and collect your award. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being so generous with your kindness. I hope you're all having a wonderful time. I am so overwhelmed to be this year's winner of Natural Artistry. Um, the competition has been such an exhilarating experience. I'm really proud to be a part of. I really hope that my image gives justice to the formidable northern gannet species, which we know have been affected so badly by avian flu in recent years. And I really hope that my image, The Art of Seduction, will connect the hearts of a global audience to this beautiful and incredibly resilient bird that we can all learn to love and protect in our day-to-day -day lives. I also hope that my category win will inspire a younger wave of photographers to pick up a camera and believe in the winning potential of their work, as for all too long, I believe that the only way that you could win in competitions like this was with decades of experience. But in actual fact, the only way that you can win is by believing that you can achieve it. I'd really like to take this opportunity to thank Victoria and Nigel Cohn, who are hopefully watching on live stream right now, for their unwavering support to me over the last five years. Vicky and Nigel have bought me the Wildlife Photographer of the Year book every single Christmas, suggesting that perhaps one year I would be in it, and I think this year is going to be a little bit more special. <laughs> And lastly, thank you so much to the jury and to the Natural History Museum for granting me this opportunity and the platform to share the beauty of the gannet species with the world and to repay the gannets for countless happy memories. Thank you so much. My award was particularly momentous because I was just one of nine women awarded from 49,957 entries across 95 countries. I'm going out of line now because I'm going to show some favouritism. I suggest you look up Rachel on Instagram. She's got some fantastic photographs. I would argue some of them are even better than this. Check those out. Now, why am I showing that favoritism? Well, because she's our second only female winner tonight. We need more women, young and old, entering this competition. We've got another to come, an established photographer, but it's great to see a young person, Rachel also being young, and also a very talented photographer. So do it is my hope that with representation from myself and others within the industry, young women and girls will feel more welcome within outdoor communities. The morning after the awards ceremony, a press preview is held. Now this is an incredible opportunity to network with the press, to introduce your image to VIP guests of the Natural History Museum and to really take the whole experience in. I was fortunate enough to take part in several interviews throughout the morning, including this one with Amateur Photographer Magazine, in which Chris Packham shares his views on my image. Chris, I've been told that this is one of the standout photos 
from this year's competition. Can you tell me why you like it? Yeah, sure. I have to declare some bias. I'm a great fan of Rachel's work. I follow her on Instagram. And what I like about her work is it's very bold, it's very brave, it's very graphic, very striking. She uses her black and white to great effect, not just because it's black and white, but for a reason. Um, I like the way that she processes and presents her photographs. So to use this one as an example, you know, the birds are perfectly positioned. Composition is all important if you're going down the artistic route. And this is an artistic photograph. There's not essentially a photojournalistic message here. It's a celebration of these beautiful birds. Uh, the composition, they're set beautifully in the frame. There's no guano on that patch of rock behind them. She's clearly seen and identified that. And then she's waited for those two birds to be in exactly the right pose, complementing to one another. No extraneous detail. I mean, I've got to say there is a tiny amount of grass down there. Now, obviously, if it were me, I'd remove that something that would easily be done on my computer, but then it would be inelegible for this competition. And I'm joking, I'm jesting, because that tiny amount of glass does not detract from the fact that this is a very powerful graphic image of beautiful birds, and it's, it's a great piece of art, basically. Now, the competition also attracted attention from my local news station, who came to my home county of Sussex to film my story. Now, a young photographer from Hastings who took a picture of a pair of gannets on a cliff has picked up a top award. Rachel Bigsby has won one category of Wildlife Photographer of the Year. Her image, called The Art of Seduction, was among almost 50,000 submitted from 95 countries. She's the youngest ever winner at 26. Tom Savides has her story. 50,000 images were submitted from 95 countries Conservationist and event host Chris Packham says Rachel, who is a self-taught photographer, is a rising star. The photographer has to capture the single moment, just one tiny fraction of a second very often, and has to communicate everything they feel about that situation in that photograph. So they can be very impactful. The two birds are perfectly aligned. If you were going to paint that image and you could control every aspect of its construction, you would paint it as she photographed it. But the excitement doesn't stop there. And perhaps one of the most unexpected aspects of the Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition is the amount of merchandise that you receive and goes for sale on the Natural History Museum's website. Of course, your image is also published in the world famous Wildlife Photographer of the Year book, along with your details and the story behind your image. After the awards ceremony, the magic continues to build. I certainly discovered a newfound appreciation of my own capabilities, and I noticed a really positive change in my reputation within the industry. So much so, that I was invited to deliver a talk at the Natural History Museum as a part of their Dig Deeper series to delve into the stories behind my images and to explore how wildlife photography can pave the way for meaningful conversation. As I hope I've shown you, there is so much more to the Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition than just the award itself. It's an opportunity to grow your reputation, to network with the press and like-minded people, to showcase your talent to the world and to inspire others. For me, the best part of the experience has been to use the competition's platform to connect a global audience to the northern gannet species, one of the hardest hit during the 2022 avian influenza outbreak. It is my hope that my image will encourage more people to appreciate the species and perhaps even spark an interest in their formidable lives. If you would like to learn more about gannets and how you can help them, check out the video description for more information. I truly hope that you've enjoyed delving into my wildlife yet again and learning more about the Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition please do subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram at Rachel Bigsby to keep up to date with my wild life. And I really look forward to seeing you next time.